Welcome back in Gru to the $10 million farm. Guys, I got some special ordered equipment just arrived. I'm going to show it all to you in one second here. Let's get to work. Pitter patter. <laughs> Welcome back in, folks. Good to see you. Thank you so much for uh, clicking the, the old linky link today and welcome in. Guys, today we've got, well, two new pieces of equipment to look at. And, well, we, we bought them here for our $10 million. You know what? It's not even a $10 million farm anymore. Who am I kidding? We're like up to $20 mil. Easy. No, like literally, I've been spending money left, right, and center here. It, it never seems to end. And um, not that I'm complaining. Let's be honest. We got some nice toys. And I mean, look at, look at this barn. Look at these buildings. So, for today, what have I got for you today? <laughs> well, you know what we got. You can see what we got. I needed some muscle. Now, we've got we've got some nice tractors. I mean, we've got, uh, what, we got eight series there. And, of course, back here at the main shop, we've got the nine series. And you know what? We do have some fertilizer spreaders, kind of. It is it is something. But this is it's a little weak by comparison. The 4940, don't get me wrong, it does a good job when it's spraying. But it just does fertilizer. We need to do some lime in as well. So this is where we're kind of at a limitation, per se. So this is where this new Freightliner comes in. We need a lime spreader. And, well, look at this thing. Look at this thing. This thing's amazing. Uh, we got the new leader back on it. Of course, the, the big thing is, well, it's, this, it's the Freightliner. A, a big old Freightliner. And, of course, we've got, well, we're chromed out. We're, we're blinged right out. Well, almost. You can see there's a little bit of a difference between the two. I thought about going with like the colored bumpers. What do you guys go with? Do you go with colored bumpers? I mean, we go with chrome on both the bumpers. I thought about going colored. You could have went with black, but I was like, oh, Matt, black, meh. But we got we got the chrome grill on this one. Colored grill on this one. I, I don't know. I couldn't decide which one to go with. So we kind of mixed it up just a little bit. Of course. Okay. Fertilizer, lime spreader, single axle. That's all you really need for this. That's enough. Now, it's almost an identical truck over here, folks. It's almost identical. Except for, well, it's got the trips on it. I guess it's not technically trips. It's just a triple axle. If I say trips, I mean that's three. Yeah, yeah, you guys, you know what I mean. But the, the manure spreader has got the triple axle. Triple axle, that's going to take a lot of weight. It's gonna be a, there's a lot of poo back here. We're going to be putting back here soon. Now, these are both decked right out. They're brand new off the lot. However, eh, you know what? We're going to run into some gremlins here and there. We'll see. We'll see. I think everything's working for the most part. We just got them today. They are, they're looking pretty sweet. I can't wait to get these in the field and test out. I mean, look at these tires. Um, are these on backwards? They got the treads going the wrong way in my mind. What about this one? No, that one looks right. What about this? Huh. I might be losing my mind here, but uh, looks like it's backwards in my mind. No, maybe? I guess you could technically put them either way. Seems like you get better traction if they went the other way, but that's just me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely put the tires on backwards. Um... Just, just saying, tires are backwards on this side. I mean, look over here. Arrows pointing forward. Arrows pointing backwards. <laughs> uh, whatever. You know what? I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll make sure they make note of that. But we got backwards tires. So let's put let's put that aside and let's get busy. We gotta we gotta start off with doing some little lime in first. Uh, we've got. I've been slowly annexing land in behind the farm, just on the far side. I'll show it to you. Let's uh, let's hop on in. We'll do some lime in first. We'll come back. We'll fill up with some manure. Oh, I got to show you the cattle barn, too. Yeah, we've been buying way too much stuff, apparently, folks. Way too much. But you know what? It's all good. Let's go fill this thing up with some lime. Let's go spread some white powder everywhere. Ugh, that doesn't sound right. Lime. We'll go, we're spreading lime. We're spreading lime. Never mind what I just said. Easy, easy. Oh, easy. I like the rough stuff, actually. It kind of bounces around through here. Look at this. We got corn. Corn looks like it's, it's almost ready to go as well. That's good to see. But before we get into that... Ah, uh, we got We have to get some lime down. Uh, which one's my lime? Is it first or second? I can never remember. Good thing we slapped these stickers on, I suppose, right? <laughs> Just have to look at that. Uh, pull out forward just a little bit further. All right, let's go load this up. Now, this has a fairly high capacity, so this should last us quite a while. These new leader tanks, these new leader uh, tenders here, they, they have a fairly high capacity. I can't remember what, the, what it was on this one, but it's usually fairly high so this should last us quite a while on this field i shouldn't have any problem getting through a whole field with this man i'm gonna be out of lime out of this silo if we keep going easy come on hurry up let's go finally all right let's get out of here let's uh let's go fire this thing up now i did get the full load package on this so of course we got their beacons let's test all our lights out here oh yeah there we go we got some lights up on top as well also I, of course i got gps enabled on this we got a gps thrown in on this as well just to help us out, make life a little bit easier, so I, I don't need to struggle as as much. Uh, but yeah, so anyways, here's our 
field right on our right here. This is what we're going to be taking care of today. Let's uh, get up to the very far end. It's it's uh, just on the far side over here. We'll start in the far corner and work our way back from there. Perfect. Freshly plowed. Let's just set this on up. I'm going to set my GPS here so that it's uh, ready to go as well. All right, let's fire this thing up. Oh, man, the spread on this actually is a lot more than I was expecting. Uh, I knew it had a fairly decent sized spread on it, but I mean, look at that. Look at the size of the spread we're getting on this. This is actually kind of incredible. Uh, I knew it was a lot, but I didn't think it was that much. It's tough to complain, I suppose. Let's go. Oh, boy. All right, so it's a little bit rough. It's gotten better since we put the GPS in, or not the GPS, the uh, the weight of the lime in. Beforehand, it was really bad. Now it's it seems to be smoothing out a little bit. You can see, we're, we're bouncing around a little bit here. Just a, just a tooch. <laughs> not bad, though. Doing a pretty decent job. You know what? I'm not going to get stuck, at least. I mean, look at these tires on this thing. They're huge. They're huge. I like it. Keep going. Let's go. Keep going. going. I did do an uh, analysis on this field as well, and it... I mean, it, it's it's in rough shape. It hasn't been planted for a while, so it, we're going through a little bit more lime. I, I forgot that we did that, so I set it up to take the right amount of lime, and we're actually pumping out more lime than I was expecting here. We're only like halfway done, I think, by the time we run out. Easy, easy. All right, let me turn this GPS back on here. Looks good. Up the hill. Oh, man, look at these tires come up on that ridge. Oh, that looks so good. All right, fire this back up, and uh, back across. Back across we go. Perfect. Love it. Love having a GPS on a unit like this. This is this is great. Yeah, it looks like we're only going to get about, well, halfway done this field. Uh, we're about to run out of lime, and, and there you have it. That's the end of the lime. Let's go refill this thing back on up. We can turn that back off. We'll head back across. Oh, boy, I can't go through this field this fast. We're bouncing everywhere. Oh, I forgot. It's freshly plowed. It's, it's a little rough in here. Look at this thing. This is ridiculous. Yeah, giving the suspension a bit of a workout. We need some more weight in the back of this, I suppose. That might help. Easy, easy clutch down the hill. And more waiting for more lime, of course. Oh, man. I, this is surprising how much lime this field's taken. It caught me off guard. I'm not going to lie. I was expecting to be done this already. All right, full load back at her. Let me finish this off with the lime, and I'll meet up with you again once we get that manure spreader up and uh, ready to rock. All right. All right, one job done for the day. Let's uh, Let's get down to some dirty work here. Let's uh, clean up some of the manure we got here now. These cows are making us quite a bit of manure. I mean, we've got 250 heads now. Uh, and we've got lots of milk coming in. We've got lots of manure. <laughs> it also means lots lots of food. But nevertheless, things are looking good. I'll show you more about this later on, to be honest. Maybe maybe next time. Uh, the cows were slowly coming together. I've got another pasture I need to put some fences down on and really get that built. But look at all the manure. we got to fill this up first. got a lot of manure. And we need to, we need to start pumping this out onto our fields maybe saving us a little bit of cash because well fertilizer is so dang expensive right so my goal eventually is here we're going to probably cut away a piece of earth here and then just put like a little bit of a retaining wall so that we're always nice and high by comparison uh it'll make loading up a lot simpler of course let's go grab that yeah there we go yeah it'll make loading this thing so much easier if we have you know what a bit of a lip here and just a lower roadway and maybe an upper kind of parking way just to load this up because otherwise well you guys know how it is loading with a front end loader it's not bad the way it is right here we got lots of space but i just don't really feel like damaging this every single time and well we know how my driving skills are wait, wait best driver in farm sim you know it did take us like four fills i think three fills just four four by the time we got done all the line i'm really hoping that manure isn't quite as um i hope it, it's a little less because this is a little bit more work i complain about the time it takes to load with lime well, we just have to, what, five bucket fills? Looks like we're going to have to put into this every single time. That's a little bit more time consuming than just going to uh, to the bin and loading up straight out of there. What, what can I say? And yeah, my idea about the second roadway, I think, would be a, a nice way as well. I am not struggling by any means, but it just would be really nice to have that extra little, well, set of comments, like instead of diving in right there, I know exactly how far I can pull forward, and I don't have to worry about, like, hitting the truck because right now when it dives in like this i almost always hit the side of the truck which is kind of annoying anyways let me finish just loading this up and uh we'll get out there start spreading a little bit of manure i have a funny feeling the triple axle might be a little actually more bounce bouncier more more bouncy ba boun bouncier bouncier is the word i'm looking for i think it might be a little bouncier through the fields than the, the single axle it's just that much more spring force back there take it easy as we go past the old sprayer port here and uh 
Yeah. Let's see what she does when we hit some of the bumps here. Hang on tight. Hang on tight. Oh, I got bad feelings. Bad feelings. Well, okay, it's not as bad as I thought. I was expecting way worse. Oh, never mind. Disregard. You know what? Not, it's not bad. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's, it's actually not too bad. Now, I know that this actually has a pretty wide spread on as well. So let me just open that up. We'll activate that. Get the back opened up. Ready to start spreading. And fire it up. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at the manure going everywhere. Once again, we do have GPS on this as well. So I do, uh, I am able to use that, which is kind of nice. Oh boy. Look at the manure going everywhere. Oh, what a mess. Holy. All right, that's that's a lot of manure spreading going on here, folks. That looks great. Maybe I should chop this tree down. It's kind of in my way. Huh. This weird lone oak sitting here. Huh. Maybe we should knock this thing down. Well, it, it just got manured, so that should maybe help it grow a little bit better. Potentially, right? You never know. <laughs> Look at the manure coming off the back of this. That's incredible. Really, really, really liking this uh, this bed. This dump bed is great. This manure spreading bed. This thing is spraying very... It's very efficient, actually. That's doing a really good job. Um, I wish all manure spreaders were were this wide. It seems like they're not quite this this length. I don't know what the length is off the top of my head, but this is this is impressive. This is great. Looking pretty darn good here, folks. Sweetness. I don't, I don't know if sweetness is the right word when you're maneuver, using manure, but whatever. So if you are looking for this, this particular unit, as well as, of course, the fertilizer spreader, the lime spreader, I'll post a link down below in the comments, or in the description, I should say. You can find both these rigs over at HD Modding on Facebook. That's where both are, you're going to find both of these. Uh, not bad mods. They're a lot of fun. I do love uh, the big off-road tires on them. Nice looking, look at the nice looking freight liner as well. Seriously, look at these. These are great. Come on. And of course, if you are new, if it's your first time here, well, welcome in. Uh, we have a bunch of new subscribers lately. Thank you, thank you to you folks for uh, joining the channel here. And if you know what, you have not subscribed already, but hopefully today you've watched to the end of the video here. So hopefully I've earned your subscription and maybe hit that big red button. If you want to help us grow, there is no better way than hitting that big red subscribe button. Of course, don't forget to like the video as well, because that goes a long way as well. So that's going to do it for us today here on the $10 million. The, is it $20 million? Do I need to change this? I might have to change the name of this farm, guys. Seriously, we've got so much equipment now. That's going to do it for us today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, slap the like, don't forget to subscribe, and I will catch you next time. This is Clutch. Over and out. Boy, this, is, this truck is a maniac. Look at this thing.